So for today, I'll be talking about seeking exceptional relationships. Our course on interpersonal dynamics starts with the notion of relationships. And the ultimate objective, if you may, regarding these relationships is that we would like them to be exceptional. Now, think about the relationships that you have in your personal life. Perhaps you may have one or two relationships that you would call exceptional. Of course, there will be other relationships that wouldn't really qualify as exceptional. They could be good enough, definitely could be better, but I'm sure all of those relationships would have varying degrees of goodness or, or being exceptional. Okay. Now, as you've noticed, relationships, when we try to assess them, okay, they exist in a continuum. On one end, you may experience contact without connection. While on the other hand, you'll probably feel a relationship that is nurturing, supportive, you feel affirmed, fully accepted without any judgment. However, for most of our relationships, they would fall somewhere in the middle, somewhere in between those two extremes that I've just mentioned. So the objective of this particular course on interpersonal dynamics is that we want to be able to move all of those middling relationships into exceptional ones. The question is how? How do we move along this continuum? Okay. Now, exceptional relationships can be developed. That's the very first thing that you'd like to establish within yourselves, right? It can be done. It is not a pipe dream. It is not a fleeting fancy. Exceptional relationships can be developed. And there are six hallmarks. Okay? And this is taken from the book by Bradford and Robin, uh, entitled uh, Connect. And they say that there are six indicators or six hallmarks of exceptional relationships. What are they? Number one, you can be more fully yourself, and so can the other person. Number two, both of you are willing to be vulnerable. Number three, you trust that self-disclosures will not be used against you. Number four, you can be honest with each other. Number five, you deal with conflict productively. And finally, number six, both of you are committed to each other's growth and development. Now let's try to dig deeper into these three, or rather six hallmarks. The, the first three center around self-disclosure. Okay. Why are we still talking about this when perhaps in today's society, we are experiencing a lot of oversharing? Or in some cases, we normally comment PMI too much information. Well, perhaps social media has created a world where in we try to give ourselves a, an excessively positive uh, view of ourselves. Okay? Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Okay? All of these social media platforms aim to actually paint a very good picture of the user or of the personality involved. Now, the thing here is that we would suspect, and I'm sure you and I would, would, would realize this, or would have realized this already, is that sometimes there are moments in our lives where in the things that we see in Facebook or in Instagram or Twitter or any of the other social media platforms, well, they don't really build connections. We probably have so many friends Okay, in our account, in social media, but it doesn't seem to make you connected with these people, with your friends. A lot of which would be nominal connections. They're not really true or genuine or authentic connections. And that's the first part that we will try to unpack. Okay? The idea of disclosures, 
self-disclosures in particular, and how we can help others uh, convince them perhaps or influence them to disclose themselves. Okay? And at the same time, through this interaction of disclosures, you're working in an environment wherein you're feeling safe that these disclosures won't be used against you. Now, the last three hallmarks have to do with feedback and conflict. In fact, a lot of the literature right now in management and leadership have dealt with feedback, with conflict management. And true enough, when we're dealing with relationships, what makes them exceptional is not that there's an absence of conflict or all feedback would be glowing, positive. Okay? Uh, in fact, exceptional relationships would show that feedback can be so uh, numerous, okay? and a lot of them can be very critical. Okay? Exceptional relationships would have so many conflicts. So it's not about avoiding conflicts, but they know how to manage the conflicts as they come. Okay? No matter how difficult the conflict may be. Okay? And you would see this depending on the type of relationship that we would be uh, looking into. Okay? Sometimes you're dealing with a superior or a boss. That relationship would be different as opposed to dealing with somebody who reports to you, okay, or a child, or somebody junior to you. And all the more, it would be a different relationship when you're dealing with a peer, with a code. Okay. Now, the whole idea here is that the last three hallmarks aim to actually solidify or nurture that relationship. So the first half, the first three hallmarks, talks about disclosures. Okay. And once those disclosures happen, naturally there might be frictions or there could be some conflicts along the way. How do we nurture the relationship even further? Okay. Fights happen, even in the best of relationships. So again, as I said a while ago, uh, exceptional relationships does not or do not mean that there's no conflict. Okay. There will always be conflict. Okay. It's just how those conflicts are managed. But the thing there is that what perhaps frustrates a lot of us from elevating those relationships as exceptional relationships would be the fear and the anxiety that we would face whenever we have to deal with an actual conflict. Okay. And sometimes we tend to ignore or bury okay, irritants, okay, annoyances. Sometimes we would excuse ourselves, that's okay, that can be managed, I can tolerate that. Oh, forget it, it'll probably pass, it'll probably blow over. Little do you realize that if you keep on doing this, there might be some issues that are really important to discuss, and you've not had the opportunity to actually go uh, through these conflicts properly. So with that said, uh, these six hallmarks aim to actually give you a good picture of how to really build exceptional relationships. And uh, on the succeeding uh, uh, topics, okay, we will try to unpack each of those hallmarks. We'll try to understand how, can, how we can actually uh, uh, do our best to, to make sure that everything is, is, is done properly. Okay? And well, another thing that we have to acknowledge is that sometimes we will make mistakes. Sometimes we will you know, trip Okay, and we might even uh, blow things out. Uh, uh, sometimes we might feel discouraged to, to continue again because it's, it's so embarrassing or it's so mortifying. Well, no. Okay. The tools that we will learn as regards building exceptional relationships, well, as, as what can be alluded by the notion of skill, well, uh, it requires practice, it requires uh, effort, it requires making mistakes and learning from them, okay, and correcting them along the way. Okay. So uh, with that, uh, uh, we will venture into a very beautiful journey in uh, interpersonal dynamics, and I hope you will uh, appreciate the, the things that uh, we will discuss along the way, or particularly the cases that would be discussed.